na Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo jiandae na ubarikiwe katika jina la Yesu. Angalia jirani yako mwambie tarajia kukutana na Mungu. Mwangalie kwa uso na we unayeangaliwa kubali kuangaliwa. Unajua pia kuna ile unakane kama siku haiko venye ulikuwa unatarajia but God is in control in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor mwambie tarajia kukutana na Mungu leo. Una imani kabisa thank you so much for that in jesus name now kama uko na bible naitwa pastor pm joshua na nimeokoka yesu ni bwana kwa wale ni wageni if you have a bible fungua na mimi kwenye kitabu cha first corinthians 15 wa korintho wa kwanza na tano. tutasoma verse number 57 and verse 58 the last verse of that chapter Bible inasema but thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ 58 therefore my beloved brethren be steadfast immovable always abounding abounding in the work of the Lord knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord nataka turudie verse 57 upon you the key nasema but thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ na bwana alibariki neno hii in Jesus name I want to speak about living the uh, living victorious life. Living victorious life. Kuishi maisha ya ushindi. Living victorious life. Bible inasema ya kwamba tunashukuru Bwana aliyetupatia ushindi kupitia Kristo Yesu. A Christian is supposed to live a life of victory. It depends how you define victory lakini nitakwenda kuzungumza ni jinsi gani ya kuishi maisha ya ushindi kwa sababu tunafaa kuelewa ya kwamba in this life there are many battles na hizi vita tunapambana tuna nazo si kwa sababu tulichokoza shetani lakini kwa sababu tulimkubali Kristo the, the moment we accepted Christ to be our Lord and Savior tuli, shetani alitangaza vita kwetu na hizi vita anatangaza kwa maisha ya mwanadamu ni vita mbalimbali mbali. na the way zina manifest kwa kwetu ni tofauti kwa sababu wengine unapitia vita za magonjwa wengine unapitia vita za kukosa hela wengine unapitia vita za mambo mengi ambazo haziwezi zikaelezeka zingine ni emotional zingine ni spiritual zingine ni physical lakini all of them are battle ambazo every believer ana encounter na leo nataka nizungumze how to win those battles na how to be Uh, to be a winner ama to be victorious ama to triumph over these battles kwa sababu zitakuja whether tutakuwa mlimani tukiomba ama tutakuwa nyumbani tukiwa tumelala ama tutakuwa kazini battle in one or the other they will show up but what matters sio venye zimekuja lakini ni venye unazihandle na venye unazishinda in your life in Jesus name hata mtu mpole huwa nakwazwa hata mtu ambaye hapendi vita anapigagwa vita na watu wengine but you need to understand venye una handle situation ambazo zinakuja katika maisha yako kinyume na venye ulitaka ama kinyume na venye uliomba inaonyesha ushindi ule ambao utapokea katika maisha yako katika jina la Yesu on friday niliongea kuhusu Uh, living a victorious life na nikaongea kitu nikasema ya kwamba to, to win a victorious life sometimes you need to change your story 
Lakini leo sitaki kwenda hiyo barabara. Leo nataka kuzungumza Kenya kina kulaga wa Kristo wananena kwa lugha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kenya kina kulaga Christians ambao wako karibu sana na Mungu lakini wanashindwa vita. Yet they are so close to God but they end up losing the battle. But I want to speak why do people lose battle? Kwa nini watu wana, wanaanza vizuri lakini wakifika mahali wanakaa ni kana kwamba hawakujua ya kwamba shetani ako kinyume na wao. Na njia moja ambayo utakwenda kuelewa ni jinsi gani wa Kristo ushindwe vita. Kuna mahali shetani uteka advantage. Na hapo ni otaka to deal napo, tupafunike so that we can be able to live a victorious life as Christians in Jesus name. Aitoshi kuabudu, aitoshi kusifu, aitoshi kukuja kanisani. Lakini kenye kina linki na mata ni jinsi unashinda vita vya ukristo katika maisha yako. Sema amen. Now, this is the area that you need to win. You need, uh, unaitaji. Uh, you need to win battles in your mind. You need to win battles in your mind. Hapo ndi wantaka to dwell in this service. Winning the battle in your mind. Kushinda vita ndani ya mawazo yako. Mawazo yako ndiyo imebeba mambu mengi. Ndiyo imebeba hatima za watu. Na katika, katika vita in the battle, the battle of the mind, Unaweza ukashinda ama unaweza ukashindwa. In the battle, uh, uh, you, you can either win or lose the battle. Na kile kinajalisha kama mkristo ni kuelewa jinsi maisha ya mawazo yako hiko. Kwa sababu ndani ya mawazo, ndiyo mambu mengi ufanyika. In your mind, hapo ndipo mambu mengi ufanyika. Na watu wengi wanashindagiwa hapo. Na that is the place I want to speak. Hapo ndiyo mahali nataka ni hubiri. Na nifundishe kwa dakika zile nitakuwa mbele yako. About winning the battle of mind. Praise the Lord. Look at your name, Mwambie. Winning the battle of mind. Your mind is a battlefield. Na hapo ndiyo mawazo mengi inakujaga. Mamutu, kila mwanadamu wanafikiria. Mtu wafikiriagi ni mnyama. But a human being who thinks. Kila unafikiria either negative or positive. Unafikiria venye utafanikiwa. Unafikiria venye umekasirika. Unafikiria venye umekasirishwa. Unafikiria venye utafanya. Every battle in your life inafanyika in your mind. Now the way ukitaka kushinda vita za ukristo, if you want to go far with God, if you want to experience victory after victory, then you must first win the battle of your mind in Jesus name. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hizi vita vya mawazo ndizo zinajalisha ya kwamba umbali ule utakaye enda kama mkristo kwa sababu kila mwanadamu anafikiria kila mwanadamu kuna kile kina kiko katika mawazo yake lakini kenye nataka ku dwell nayo zaidi in this service is how to win those battles in Jesus name now in the in the book of second corinthians chapter 10 verse 3 second corinthians chapter 10 uh, verse 3 I want you to hear what the Bible says. Inasema, 2 Corinthians 10, 3. Inasema, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. For pulling down strongholds. Verse 5, inasema, Casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Inasema, though tunatembea katika mwili, hatupigani katika mwili, lakini Bible inasema kwamba sila hazetu, ambazo tuko nazo silaha zetu si za kimwili lakini ni za kimungu ambazo ziko na uweza wa kuangusha ngome ya kuangusha kila wazo ambalo najinua zaidi ya ufahamu wa neno la Mungu and today i want us to to think why we are doing what we are doing in our lives in Jesus name kuna vitu kadhaa nataka uzielewe na kama utaziandika zitakusaidia the greatest the greatest weapon the devil uses against us is deception. Silaha kubwa shetani utumia kubwa kinyume na sisi ni udanganyifu. 
The greatest weapon the devil uses against us is deception. Shetani hata tumia silaha zingine anatumia silaha ya uongo. Kukufanya ufikirie uongo. Kufanya uwe deceived. Ukufanya uone ni kana kwamba unaanza ku, you begin to believe a lie. Unaanza kuamini uongo. Na kitu hatari ni kwa Mkristo akidanganywa na adanganyike na aanze kufikiria uongo. Uanze kufikiria venye Bible isemi. Uanze kufikiria venye ambao dunia inasema. Uanze kufikiria kuhusu reality na the deception ni nini wakati wote you are beginning to think against the scriptures you are deceived umedanganyika na kudanganyishwa udanganyifu ni ya kwamba you want to believe according to your status you want to be, to, to, be, to to think ya kwamba venye unaishi na kenye kazi unafanya that is you that is uh, the far that you can go ya kwamba venye watu wanakuitaga hivyo ndivyo uko venye unaishiki ndivyo uko na uongo mkubwa wa shetani ni kukufanya uamini kenye maandiko isemi now the greatest weapon the devil will ever use against you is deception. Deception to be deceived. Na hii uongo inakuja namna gani wakati unaanza kufikiria kulingana na kule umetoka, unaanza kufikiria kulingana na kenye uko nacho, unaanza kufikiria kulingana na kenye umepitia, then you unaanza kuonekana kwamba that is your life, that is who you are. Hivyo ndivyo Mungu anataka uishi. I want to tell you ya kwamba vita vya kwanza vya mawazo utapigana nazo ni vita vya udanganyifu ndani yako. Never think and never believe a lie. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. What is a lie? Haujasemehewa dhambi. What is a lie? When ni mtu muovu. What is a lie? Ya kwamba the life you live always end up beyond that level. I want tas nataka uelewe na ujue ya kwamba silaha kubwa shetani ataitumia kinyume na maisha yako ni silaha ya udanganyifu kuna watu wamejiona na wakajilinganisha na wakaona nikana kwamba kulingana na mahali niko siwezi nikafika venye bible inasema bible ni kama iliandikiwa watu specific mpaka unaanza kuona bible ni ya waisraeli unaanza kuona bible ni ya watu fulani i want to tell you the word of god is a manual book for every person who chooses to believe it if you can believe the scriptures it doesn't matter ni wapi uko it doesn't matter ile hali iko if you come on as a minimum ndiko the word of god is the greatest weapon against deception hakuna udanganyifu wa shetani utaishinda na experience utaishinda na kuja kanisani utaishinda na kujua neno the word of god in a counter attack the deception of the enemy ambaye anakuambia ya kwamba you cannot be any person better wewe ni mwenye dhambi you keep on sinning you cannot be changed hawezi kaacha kitu fulani udanganyifu wa shetani unakuonyeshana ya kwamba you are weak and that is who you are you are poor and that is who you are you are a sinner and that's who you are. Wewe unakuaga na hasira and that is who, who you are. Wewe hauwezi ukafika kiwango fulani cha maombi and that is who you are. I want to tell you you have to understand hiyo ni silaha shetani anatumia kwa watu na inakuja wapi kwa mawazo. You begin to think about yourself. Unaanza kuona ni kama kabisa mimi siwezi fanikiwa nikiwa mahali fulani. Siwezi nikafanikiwa nikiwa isili. Siwezi nikafanikiwa nikiwa kanisa fulani. Siwezi nikafanikiwa nikifanya biashara fulani. Then your mind yako inaanza kutengeneza stronghold na hiyo stronghold shetani anaitumia kama uongo ndio akutoe to the place of your destiny believing ya kwamba you cannot reach where you want to reach i want to tell you the word of god haitaji uwe mahali fulani ndio ufanikiwe the word of god unahitaji uamini kenye mungu amesema kwa neno lake and you begin to live the scriptures the word of god will become reality lazima control your thinking before you take action think again lasema think again look for godly counsel in your mind because the holy spirit is a present help in trouble ask him to guide you ask him to lead you msikaishi ni kama hamna roho mtakatifu ishini ni kama before you make a decision before you make any step inquire from the holy spirit Nasema enquire from the Holy Spirit. Roho wa Mungu akuji kukanda ni yetu kutusaidia kunena kwa lugha kwa sababu kunena kwa lugha sio roho mtakatifu kunena kwa lugha ni kipawa. But the spirit of God comes to help us wakati 
ambapo mahali hatuna nguvu in our infirmities in our weaknesses anakuja kutusaidia i want to tell you ya kwamba for you to live a victorious life control what you think bwana yesu asifiwe ukiwa umeketi hapo umeketi unafikiria nini Uki, wakati ulikuwa unakuja what were you thinking in your mind na ndaso anawaambia take captive every thought and put it in the control control it na watch the word of god iongoze na itawale in your life in jesus name bwana yesu asifiwe nasema bwana yesu asifiwe now bring every thought into the submission of the word of god let a kila wazo kwenye submission ya neno la Mungu ya kwamba ila wazo ambao unaileta katika submission katika neno la Mungu haiwezi ikakusababisha ukakosea Mungu haiwezi ikakusababisha ukafanya kenye haukupanga kufanya I want to say this dhambi inaanzaga kwa mawazo sin starts in the mind anything you will ever do you did it long time ago kenye you just did it was a manifestation of what happened in your mind Hakuna kitu unafanyaga kama haikufanyika kwa mawazo. Kuna zile zinaitwa premeditated sin. Kitu ambacho kilianza katika mawazo yako, ukakifikiria mpaka kikafika mahali kikakuwa eh, ikafika mahali sasa ikaanza kuleta kitendo. And that's why Christianity they lose battle kwa sababu hawa control mind yao. Nayo shetani anateka advantage kwa kuwafanya ndani yao alete uh, uh, dhambi katika mawazo yao unapata unatukana mtu na sio maneno unamtukana kwa moyo Bwana Yesu asifiwe unatukana mtu una, una mawazo already ishamwangalia ikamtukana ikamaliza kazi nao ndio ufike mahali ikienda ijae 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 huyo mtu wakati atakuja wrong pande yako wrong side sasa physically utamtukana ilianzia wapi in your mind Bwana Yesu asifiwe nasema Bwana Yesu asifiwe Tell your neighbor, control your mind. James 1.14 James 1.14 Katana na any corrupt mind. Corrupt mind. Mawazo ambayo haina order. Iko corrupted. Control it. Eh? Bible nasema But each one is tempted when he is uh, drowned away by his own desire and enticed verse 15 then when desire has conceived it gives birth to sin and sin when it's full grown brings forth death ile tamaa ikishakuwa kubwa inazaaga dhambi whatever you think in your mind na unataka kitu sana na hauna uwezo wa kuipata alafu uifikirie the devil gives you a suggestion na that suggestion can lead you to sin bwana yesu asifiwe nasema bwana yesu asifiwe luka tuone mwambie control your mind tell neighbor control your mind na ujue kwamba kile unafikiria katika maisha yako na katika uh, mawazo yako ina mata utajua mtu ni mshindi na anaenda mbali kulingana na venye ana control mawazo yake katika jina la Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na how do you take charge of your mind na kuiweka into the subject of the word of God? That is a big question. Unawezaje kutiisha neno mawazo yako ifuate neno la Mungu? Nataka kusema hii as I wind up ya kwamba never stop learning the word of God. Usichoke na kusoma na kujua neno la Mungu because the way to transform your mind is through the word of God not stories not ideas not suggestions but the word of God the word of God is sharper than a two-edged sword inaweza wakusaidia mawazo yako ikawa straight you, the word of god usitaki usichoke na kusoma neno usichoke na ku the word let the word of god be in you fully ya kwamba and that's why inakaa boring inakaa itabia ya kikawaida lakini ushindi wako wa kubadilisha mawazo yako iko ndani ya ile neno unakataka kuisoma bwana yesu there is what preaching can do 
There is what prayer can do and there is what reading the word of God can do. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mahubiri ninahubiri hata kama niko na upako namna gani siwezi haiwezi ka replace your personal study of the word. I may speak revelation, I may speak mysteries, I may speak big things. Baka ukakutana na uponyaji, baka kukutana na miujiza, lakini hiyo haiwezi ika replace wewe kusoma Bible because I kushinda mawazo ile unafikiria sio ile mahubiri unasikia 30 minutes ni ile neno unaisoma inaenda ikifanya your mind inakuwa under control inafanya your life inakuwa na shape ya neno la Mungu you can never be free until the word of God become reality in your mind Bwana Yesu asifiwe lakini wa Kristo tumekuwa na uvivu wa kusoma Bible Christians akisoma Bible leo atasoma baada ya siku tatu. Na ukiambia umkristo afunge siku tatu hawezi. Anasema miguu inatetemekaga, anasikia kizunguzungu. Na wakati uko uko unasoma Bible huko unasikia kizunguzungu. You know there are things the devil ametupatia ametudanganya tukaweka neno la Mungu ni kama luxury lakini sio kama necessity. I want to tell you the word of God is that power that will transform your mind unaweza kuwa umekaa smart umetengeneza nywele na ukakaa smart lakini unafikiria kama shetani eh una vile mnakaa very smart wengine wanakaa kama malkia wengine wanakaa kama prince and princess lakini you are small devils in your mind ushaua ushazini ushaiba ukiwa umeketi tu hapo control your mind Proverbs 23:23 23. Never stop learning by the truth nasema by the truth I do not sell it also wisdom and instruction and understanding by the truth nunua ukweli na usiuze alafu ununue hekima mashauri na kuelewa there are things you need to invest for the sake of your mind that is the word the truth represents the word buy the truth and sell it not buy the knowledge of the scriptures inakuaga ni mzuri mkristo amejaa maandiko mkipiga story kidogo tu anamwaga tu maandiko mkiongeaga inakuwa raha unaongea na mtu one hour hata kuna mahali amekuwa katika scripture bwana yesu asiye ask your neighbor you the one Muulize huyo mtu umemtukana kuna andiko inakubaki hivyo umemtukana Just ask him that Hivyo umesengenya huyo mtu kuna andiko inabaki kenye umefanya If you have continue If you don't have your mind is polluted Amen zimepungua Tell your neighbor thank God anamaliza Eh Tell your neighbor thank God anamaliza hii hii ni mzito sana. Hebu andika hii neno as I wind up. What you think you become. Kenye unafikiria unafanyika. What you think most you become that. If you think negative you become that. If you think positive you become that. What you think or what you think becomes words. What you think becomes words. Your words becomes actions. Your actions becomes habits. Your habits becomes character and your character affect your destiny. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kenye unafikiria kina affect kenye unasema. Kenye unasema kina affect your habits your habits in affect your character your character in affect your destiny it all start in your mind ndio mtu aibe alikuwa shaiba katika moyo wake ndio mtu afanye kenya amefanya alikuwa shaifanya in the mind if you could control your mind the actual thing sin aungeifanya finally brethren tuweke Philippians chapter 4 6 to 8 tumaliza na hiyo I want us to sing that song Think like a winner Speak 
speak like a child of God and forgive without condition. Your mind will be renewed. That's what the Bible says. To some sauti, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known to, to God. Uh -huh. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guide your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Alafu ya mwisho, eight. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on those things. This how a Christian amejazo na roho mtakatifu anafaa kufikiria. You are supposed to, to think about that verse. Whatever is good. Whatever is of good report. Whatever that glorify God. Think. You shall not be a victim. You shall not be a, vi a victim of the enemy. Utakua mtu wako free. And that is the freedom we are called. Live a victorious life. How? By winning the battle of your mind. Tell your neighbor from now on, control what you hear. Control what you are thinking. You may be believing a lie, thinking you are believing the truth. Know why you believe what you believe. Have the scriptures that backs your belief. Kwa nini unamsimamo huu? Kwa na mandiko ina back msimamo ule ukonayo. Don't do things, things. Because umeona ni mzuri. Fanya vitu ukibakiwa na scriptures. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nasema Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa nini awongeagi na mtu fulani? Kuwa na maandiko inakupatia sababu ilo siongea na Lift up your hands before God. Kuna mambo mengi si kusema. Si kwa sababu si kutaka kusema. Lakini kwa sababu muda hauja tukubalia. Ino ato mikono yako juu. Mwambie Bwana nisaidie nishinde vita vya mawazo. Talk to God now. Mambia, help me. Give me every tool I need to win the battle of my mind. Give me the tools. People may not know what I'm thinking, but you know what I'm thinking. People may not understand why I'm thinking what I am thinking, but Lord, give me the tools to win this battle. Go back to the scriptures. Search in the scriptures. Neno la mungu haliwezi lika expire. Neno la mungu liwezi lika pito na wakati. Neno la mungu maandiko inasema. Neno la mungu lina uhai ndani yake. The word of God is alive and active. The word of God is alive. It, is, it has a spirit. It is active. And it's sharper than a two-edged sword. Ni neno la mungu liko hai na nikali na liko na uweza kuliko upanga ukatao kuwili. Inaweza ikaingia kwa nafsi, kwa roho na ikagawanyisha kila kitu ndani yako. My brother, my sister, I come to beseech you. Go back to the scriptures. Go back to the scriptures. Let the scriptures show you who you are. Wacha ushindu na utafuta upate kwa maandiko. Wacha kubeba vitu kwa mawazo. Wacha kubeba mawazo imebeba vitu ambazo zila Ambazo hazipati mungu utukufu the, 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 the thinking The thinking pattern in your mind Ambia Bwana transform my life If you can be honest to yourself Talk to God Usinyamazia hii Iyo ni ile vita watu waonagi Lakini unapigana Ukikosana na watu watu wanajua Lakini ndani yako kukiwa kuna vitu zinakupiga Nobody knows It is only you Tell God help me to win this battle of my mind. Help me. Nikiwa njiani nishinde vita hii. Nikiwa nyumbani nishinde vita hii. Nikiwa kazini nishinde vita hii. I want to win the battle of my mind. I want to win the battle of mind. I don't want to carry things that does not glorify you in my mind. I don't want to kill in my mind. I don't want to steal in my mind. I don't want to covet in my mind. I don't want to sin in my mind. I want to be transformed. Total transformation come from the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, transform your people. Change how they think. Change how they think. Let us be renewed. 
by your word in our mind. I pray for the power of renewal in our mind. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we come before your presence. Set the captive free. Break every bondage. Break every stronghold of the mind. And let every thought, let every argument to be, submiss to be submitted to your word. In the name of Jesus. You know, as I pray this prayer. This prayer in a tragic confession. You know, I'm going Sema bwana Yesu. Nina simama mbele zako. Mahali niko. Niko kwenye vita. Ambazo kwa akili yangu. Siwezi nikazishinda. Naitaji. Hekima yako. Silaha kutoka kwako. Jesus. Za kushinda vita. Ya mawazo. Nisaidie. Nishinde vita hivi. Zimekuwa zikiniweza. Zikiniweza. Zimekuwa zikiniweza Zimekuwa zikiniweza Bwana Yesu, Bwana Yesu. Nisaidie. Nisaidie Nishinde vita hii Nishinde vita Ya mawazo Nataka kuishi Maisha ya ushindi Maisha ushindi Sio tu kenya kinaonekana Sio tu kwa kile kinaonekana Lakini sio nekana Lakini Niweze kushinda Niweze kushinda Katika jina la Yesu Katika jina la Yesu Ninaomba Ninaomba Unisaidie Unisaidie Sema amen Patia Bwana Yesu makofi Yes Na bwana yes. a transform mind ya kila moja wetu in Jesus name. Mm -hmm.